Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the hepatorenal pouch, also called Morrison's recess or Morrison's pouch. So this is a pocket-like space in the general peritoneal cavity. This, this is the posterior superior extension of the subhepatic space. We'll go to the boundary. So, this hepatorenal pouch, the hepatorenal pouch, renal recess or pouch, recess, is located in the greater sac. It is in the general pattern cavity. It is an extension of the, it is a posterior superior extension, posterior superior extension of the Subhepatic space. So, this is present in the greater set. This is an extension, posterior superior extension of the subhepatic space. So, this is the subhepatic space. Subhepatic space. This is the sub subphrenic space subphrenic space this is the diaphragm the diaphragm this is the peritoneum here peritoneum okay so we have the posterior superior extension here this is the hepatorenal pouch that is this part of the peritoneal cavity this is a potential space in our life in a healthy person the peritoneum fold will be one on another just move one over, over another one there is no space here just a film of fluid is present there so that the peritoneum peritoneum can move one over another okay we got the hepatorenal pouch definition now we'll go to the boundaries of the hepatorenal pouch boundaries boundaries anteriorly it is bounded by the inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver inferior surface of the right lobe of the liver okay and also the gallbladder gallbladder so these are the anterior boundary inferior surface of the right lobe the lobe of the liver and the gallbladder posteriorly we have multiple structure posteriorly if we go posteriorly so this is anteriorly if we go posteriorly we'll get the right supernal gland the right supra renal gland supra renal gland the right kidney the right kidney the right colic flexor right colic flexor 
of the right collector cell the transverse major colon part of the transverse major colon part of the pancreas okay so you got the right supranal gland upper part of the right kidney the second part of the duodenum the hepatic flexor of the colon the transverse major colon part of the pancreas okay forms the posterior boundary now superiorly so this is our if you go here this is these are the boundaries okay this is the right lobe of the liver this is liver this is kidney this is kidney and we get the suprarenal gland here suprarenal gland suprarenal gland here is the transverse here is the beginning of the transverse column we can say the right colic flexor right colic flexor or hepatic flexor okay we got that the this is posterior part of the abdomen this is posterior abdominal wall this is posterior and that is anterior that is anterior okay this is the coronary ligament this is another part of coronary ligament so that is the coronary ligament of the liver another piece is here and this is the bare area b a r e bare area area bare area of the liver this area is the bare area of the liver this is the coronary ligament superior coronary ligament inferior this subhepatic space subphrenic space and our space or hepatorenal pouch or recess is here or morrison's recess is here okay this is the potential space it will contain fluid when there is pathology okay we got the boundary anterior posterior superiorly what is the superior boundary superiorly it is bounded by the inferior layer of the coronary ligament this is the inferior layer of coronary ligament inferior inferior layer of the coronary ligament of the liver coronary ligament okay in the superiorly and inferiorly it opens into the general peritoneal cavity inferiorly it is open into general peritoneal cavity general peritoneal cavity so if there is any collection in the lesser sac or omental bursa that is also going to the to this space it is possible that is draining to the hepatorenal pouch okay we got that now we'll go to the clinical significance of the hepatorenal pouch okay what is the clinical significance clinical significance of this pouch or clinical anatomy clinical and so this hepatorenal pouch is the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in a supine or recumbent position so most dependent part of the 
peritoneal cavity in supine or recumbent position okay okay so if there is any collection of fluid any pathological fluid it should settle towards the gravity attraction like this it may also go to the to the pelvic cavity so this is the morrison's races morrison or hepatorenal races or pouch okay this is the most dependent part of the peritoneal cavity in supine position another dependent part is the rectovesical pouch in man that is rectovesical pouch in man and rectouterine pouch rectouterine pouch in female okay that those are also the dependent part of pelvic cavity or patron cavity especially if the person is ambulatory person is walking then these two would be the dependent position or patient is lying in the hospital bed in supine condition then this is more dependent position okay so if we draw fluid here fluid will go in this direction some of it may go in that direction okay that is most dependent in case of standing position this is most dependent in case of recumbent or supine position okay we got the most dependent part then what is the problem our peritoneal pouches or races they can communicate each other in case of pathological condition so in case of appendicitis appendix appendicular abscess abscess may go to the subphrenic space may go to the subhepatic space may go to the hepatorenal pouch or pouch of morrison it is also possible or any problem in the gallbladder okay fluid may be collect collected there in case it may be a complication of surgery or it may be due to some pathology in the gallbladder there may be collection of fluid here or pass here that is possible or we have to know that any collection here it may go in that direction also underneath the diaphragm okay it may go to the lung that is possible especially in case of hepatic abscess if the anything is subphrenic abscess may go to the to the lung that may be very much catastrophic so that's all about the hepatorenal pouch or pouch of morrison or hepatorenal races if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now